Hi, I'm back uh, here for another tutorial. I'm going to do a quick, simple, easy butterfly. I'm going to do it in pink and white because that's what I already have on my brush. This butterfly is something that could go on a little girl's eye or her cheek or even her arm. Just something quick, simple, and easy. I'm going to lead with my lighter color and I'm just going to swoop up like I'm making a flower petal. And I'm going to stop at the top and I'm going to swoop right back down. I'm going to take my brush again right beside it, swoop up again, and then right back down. And as you can see, it does give it a different shape. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go at a different angle. I'm going to come down and I'm going to go round and just do like a teardrop. And there's the base of my butterfly. From here, I'm going to take my number two and I'm going to load it with black and I'm going to do the body with that. The body just consists of a large teardrop. So we're going to start here push down, push, 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 and lift. Come up to a fine, fine point. While I'm right here, I'm going to do the antennas. And another one. I like to put a little dot at the end of my antenna. From here, I'm just going to outline the body. It just pulls it together a little better, um, gives it a sharper look if you outline the body. And I try and keep as light a touch to it as I can. We're going to go up here and right to the top. Then from here I'm going to push down just to give it some dimension. And where the two wings meet, I hope you can see all this. I'm going to lighten my touch back up and lightly come right into that point. I'm going to do the other wing and then I'm going to push again just to give it some dimension. As I round the corner up, I am lightening up my brush, lightening up my touch. So there is my basic butterfly. I do a couple different things. First of all, I like to add glitter. Just kind of blow away all the excess glitter and then I take and I come down here and I do a <clears throat> larger teardrop on this side of the body on the bottom and then shorter than that on this side up on the top wing I like to pull a teardrop right down the top wing like that and then on the bottom shorter so you're kind of staggering them on the bottom wing I only pull one elongated teardrop that's it there's basically your butterfly what I've been doing and I like it is between the two points here and here of your teardrops I like to put a dot and then um, right in kind of the middle of that one put a dot and then down here, I like to put a dot up. You can stop here, you can go further, whatever you choose to do. I'm going to go a little bit further. And another thing that you can do is to take and draw in a couple teardrops. And then up from the bottom, two teardrops. And then from there, just a couple dots going out. I like to make them smaller as I go out. So there would be my finished butterfly. And it glitters, it sparkles, and what little girl wouldn't love? Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day and I will see you on the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.